Hi everyone, and welcome. Uh, today I'm going to show you a layout that I made for MIDI Designer Pro 2 on the iPad Pro. Uh, this application um, does work on uh, iPad minis, uh, most iPads. I'm not exactly sure how far back it goes, but works quite well. Uh, I used to have an iPad mini uh, 2, and it worked well on that, and now I have a Pro, and it works even better. A little bit quicker in response. However, I've made a layout for the Akai Axe 80, uh, as you can see in front of me, and uh, I created basically every parameter that you can edit uh, is uh, editable on the program. Uh, one thing I will mention is that this requires the latest firmware uh, that was developed by a third party. Uh, I believe uh, it's Bob Grebe, um, but I will uh, link that in the description of this video so that you can uh, purchase it from him directly uh, as well. And um, Okay, so what I have, uh, so you can hear that I had a patch, and I'll show you one thing that I did uh, that you can't actually do on the unit itself. Um, so here's the sound. Uh, I have an initialize button. So let me turn off my effects. Okay, and basically I set um, a baseline for how I thought an initialized patch should sound. So everything, uh, the oscillator is at the lowest frequency, um, and you can edit that. Uh, they're both uh, sine waves, or I'm sorry, saw, saw waves. And everything else is pretty much set to... Uh, well, you can hear pretty basic sound. And I'll show you a little bit of what you can do here. It's Again, it's the same as what's on the layout of the X80. One of the nice features is that actually, um, so let's say, let's look at oscillator one, and I'm not sure if you can see here, but uh, you'll see that you can actually um, see the edits that you're doing on the X80. So right now I'm just working on uh, oscillator one volume. And the edits are happening in real time, and this is true of the filter as well. So if you reduce the cutoff, it's a pretty smooth transition. Same is true of the resonance. Um, And you can obviously make adjustments to the LFO. Uh, for oscillator one, two, and then the uh, filter. And uh, right now I'm kind of messing around with the envelope generator for the uh, amplifier. So it's a pretty straightforward layout. Uh, there's not a whole lot to describe because if you're pretty familiar with the uh, front panel, it would be pretty obvious to see what, uh, what edits you're able to do with this. Uh, so I'm going to also post this uh, on MIDI Designer Pro's uh, website so that you're able to download this as well. And if you have any feedback, I'm certainly willing to, to hear that and 
make changes to this if you think there's something missing. Although I think I've got every parameter possible uh, that you can edit in in here. Uh, so hopefully this is uh, helpful to the those of you who have an iPad and an X80, and especially to those who have the broken membranes where they can't see anything or if the control wheel isn't working properly. Uh, this might be a good way to bypass those types of uh, issues that you might have on your Akai. Um, so, yeah, if you have any questions, pre please leave a comment, and I'll be happy to answer them. Thanks. Bye.